the castle. Hey, yo, here comes the wizard. Hi, my name is Mr. Dick. No! No, 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 none of that. Hey guys, it's SPW, and welcome to Let's Play Glover. Now, Glover's another one of those games that is, it's kind of like an underrated, maybe not underrated, but kind of a sleeper hit game on the N64 that I really enjoy, and um, I hear some people say they don't like it, like they think the, con the, um, the control scheme is too weird for them, but I've never really had that much trouble with it. I mean, there are some parts in the game that are kind of confusing, like with the camera and stuff, but overall, I'm pretty sure, um, uh, no, I'm pretty sure, um, I think this is a pretty, pretty well-made game. Now, if you couldn't tell from that opening, uh, cinematic, whatchamacallit there, the wizard does not know how to read the labels on his potions, and he turned himself into a a fountain, apparently. I mean, when he fell, he was just like a block of stone or whatever you'd call that. I don't know, it's an N64, so you kind of got to use your imagination. But I guess he landed into a perfect spot, and now his blood is water, and it's leaking out endlessly. I don't know. But, basically, the goal of this game is get all the crystals that kind of look like um, <laughs> Master Emeralds from Sonic. Oh god, I don't even want to think about that. Um, but, as you saw in the beginning, Glover, one of the wizard's hands, or Glover, I don't know, maybe there's a hand in there, if there is, that's kind of creepy. But, basically, he saved all the crystals from shattering by turning them into balls. Oh man, there's going to be so many testicle jokes in this Let's Play, isn't there? Isn't there, aren't there? Whatever, grammar's the thing that ha the zigs, zigs, zigs. Um... Yeah, he saved all the crystals by turning them into balls. I can't say balls normally. I have to say balls. And they all went into all the different worlds here and there. And by returning that one ball that just happened to land there, that smacked Glover in the face. The poor child. His face. I'm surprised his face isn't, like, red, because I know what it feels like to get, like, a dodgeball to the face. Oh, God. Terrible memories of school. But, um... We just, we recovered that one, and it turned into the crystal, and it opened up the first world. And now we're going to start the first world. I'm just Captain Obvious right now, and now I'm going to make you dizzy from spinning the camera forever. <laughs> um, I guess I'll kind of explain the controls for Glover right now. Well, first of all, pushing B points you to where the nearest ball is, which is just pointing to this level, because we'll get it as soon as we enter this level. It'll be like on the beach. The beach. Mr. Bean. Whatever. Um, but without the ball, Glover, he's, he's, um, uh, he's quick and nimble when he needs to be, but he can't float through the air and he can't really climb trees. I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> but you can do a double jump. You can do um, a ground pound if that's like your main attack. You can point to where the ball is. Um, you can do a cartwheel, which will help you get through, like, certain skinny places. And you can also do this really creepy crawl. Creepy crawlers. And it's kind of weird. Like, if you imagine Glover without the face, it's, it's just a, a disembodied hand. Ugh. Um, as you saw, this guy's name is, uh, maybe you didn't see, I don't know. But his name is Mr. Tip. Get it? Because Tip. And we're not going to be talking to him at all, because all he does is give you stupid tips. Tip, huh? See, it makes sense. But with the ball, as you can see, you go a lot faster. I'm um, going to pick up this extra life right here. 
Extra lives are really easy to get in this game. And we're going to be using that, using, losing that extra life fairly quick as I show off a certain feature that I think is really its feature, whatever you want to call it. It's really funny, this thing I'm going to show off. But with the ball, you can do so many different things. This is why I think this game, this game is so neat. Like the concept, I mean, not only is the concept good, see like Glover just automatically picks it up. Not only is the concept good, I think it's programmed like tremendously. Tremendously, what am I saying? I'm no poet person. Exactly, see, poet person? That's what a poet would say, right? But I don't understand why some people always say they have so much trouble with this game's controls. I mean, there are some certain parts that are kind of confusing, but it just, I don't know, it takes a little getting used to. It's not like getting used to bad controls, it's just getting used to different controls. Um, but yeah, with this, with this wall, you can do so many cool gymnastic things. I don't know, like, I just don't understand why this game isn't appreciated. See, look at this. You get in, in the water and it automatically um, uh, turns into, like, bumper balls from Mario Party 1 and 2. And, I don't know, this is just so cool, isn't it? Whoa, that was kind of glitchy. Woohoo, we're already, get, we're already getting glitches. Already getting glitches. Um, yeah, I mean, of course, being an N64 game, there are going to be glitches. And this is kind of like an earlier N64 game, I'd say. This wasn't, like, 2000. This was, like, one of the... This might have been in the second or third year of the system. Oh, and this game is also on the PC and the PlayStation. And I'm pretty sure the the N64 and PC versions are pretty much the same thing. But the PlayStation, ver PlayStation version? The PlayStation version. Avoid at all costs. That, it is just terrible. Like, the camera's awful. The music is awful. The graphics are awful. The, the controls are awful. I'm pretty sure there's like a controller on the screen at all times. From what I saw, that's what I remember. And that is just like, ugh. Of course, I could be wrong. That could have been just the, the demo or something. But, checkpoint already. Um, yeah, this level's already almost over. The levels are at least starting off fairly short. I mean, that's what, that's what you should expect from a first level. These fish remind me of the Wally Wogs from Pikmin in the way, like, watch when they jump. Jump for me, fish. You know, they like you know, like they hover there for a little bit. I don't know. I always. Well, I mean, I guess I didn't always think because I had this game before Pikmin came out. So, but I mean, I guess coming back to it, I'm like, holy crap, that's a lot like Pikmin Wally Wogs. Um, I guess. Oh wait, oh I I forgot some things over here. Um, I guess I'll explain right now. Oh God, what's going on? Pushing wrong buttons. Okay, I'll just leave the ball there for now. Your ball. Um, you wanna. Like, not only does Glover have hearts, like you can see in the bottom left, the ball also has, like, I think three hits. Three or four, I don't really know. Maybe I have a Glover expert in the comments. I know I have a Bomberman expert in the comments. You know who you are, but you you want to make sure your ball is in a safe spot, so it, I think it's safe over there. This is a really stupid thing, I think, for the first level. You just have to jump against a pillar, and it'll fall, and you'll get the remaining things that you have to get. For which I will explain what they are. Um... The collectibles in this game are Garibs, these little card things, and basically the reason you're collecting these is to unlock bonus levels in each world, which are kind of pointless. Some of them are kind of fun, other ones are aggravating as all hell, but uh, I, I want to get them all just to show off everything. See, that's all 50. As you can see, we've already racked off, racked off. Oh. Ugh, that sounds like a bad thing. But, um, balls racked off. Hand. Oh, God, this is just terrible, isn't it? Um, but we've racked up a lot of lives already, so it's really easy to get lives. I think you get lives for every 10,000 points, for every 50 garabs, and for every time you collect all the garabs in a level. So, I'm not really... I could be wrong, but I think that's how it works. I don't know, but anyway, you're not going to be short on lives anytime soon, because I'm pretty sure even when you shut off the game and turn it back on, it saves the amount of lives you have, and unlike other games where, like, you rank, you rack them up, and you lose them, you know? See, that took us five minutes. See, like, the target time there, well, target time, I'm thinking of Bomberman, it was, uh, one minute and thirty seconds. That's, there's no point to that. That's just, like, if you want to beat your record. There's a time trial mode, but you don't... It's just kind of like to do it. There's really no point. You don't unlock anything, at least not to my knowledge. I mean, who knows? Maybe there's some weird secret special thing that I don't know about. 
Now there's one feature I haven't showed off yet that is kind of a kind of a big thing for this game. Is that well you know, we're not just any glove, we're a walking magical glove that was once glove slash hand, who knows? That was used by a wizard, so we can change this ball into many different things, like we can turn it into a bowling ball, and then we can break certain objects like that. Oh god, shark! Oh man! This shark guy, um, you can't kill. You cannot kill this guy. You can stun him, but he won't die. So, And there's no point because he won't give you anything if you kill him. Some enemies will give you garabs, other ones won't. Or points or whatever you want, but yeah, there's no point to killing him. But you can, like, stun enemies with... You can stun enemies, you can kill enemies with the bowling ball. Um, there's this ball, which is like a marble, which is used in a couple, um, uh... Magnetic puzzles. There's an extra life. See, so many lives. Um, I don't know. You can use this ball for um, uh, different things. Like, if you want to go a little faster and also have the weight of the bowling ball, you can kind of use it for the same things, but it's not as powerful, I don't think. And then here's the crystal. Now, the crystal, its main. Oh god, don't kill me. Its main. Um, uh, power is that you get more points when you collect garabs, but you cannot bounce it. And this is what happens when you uh, do bounce it. Oh my god. I love that scream so much. That like, oh my god, that's like my favorite thing ever. Come on, let's go. There we go. Made it onto the move to move move thing. Um, but, yeah, so like, like you want, like you come over here um, tap the R button, that's how you do this, by the way. A couple times. Get some combo points and whatnot, but then you want to change it back to your normal ball before you, like, do any dribbling or throwing or anything, because... Oh, man, it is not good when you haven't hit a checkpoint in a while, because then you have to... Every time you die, you go back to your... to the last checkpoint that you were at. Obviously, that's how checkpoints work. But it's bad when you're really far into a later level, and... That happens, and it's like, oh, God, really? And the enemies come back. Like, you don't have to recollect any Garabs. It's not like Banjo-Kazooie, where you have to recollect things. Like, they'll, they'll stay collected as long as you don't leave the level and come back. Um, so, th so that's a nice, nice thing. They don't torch you with that kind of stuff. Oh, God, almost fell. I mean, another thing I really think is underappreciated about this game... Well, one thing, I guess this game's kind of underappreciated in general. But the music, listen to this music. You know, I'll stop collecting things for a while and let you listen to it. And then a cow, you know what? No, screw it. You can hear the music as soon as I'm like, okay, listen to it. And then there's the freaking bowl goes, Nurr. you stupid bowl with two legs. You idiot. Now that's, now that's bullshit. Oh my god, I love those videos so much. That mask is so funny, that whatever you want to call it. The way he opens his mouth. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sorry, I don't feel like telling you, because you should know. Um, if you notice, there are certain switches that you have to press with Glover. Now this switch you have to press with the ball. But as you can see, the ball is floating on water, so how are we gonna... How are we gonna get it to touch it? Well, you push this button, sinks it, and then that button pushes the ball, I mean vice versa, whatever, and then that opens up the, the exit. Now, alternatively, you could have just turned that into a bowling ball, or the, um, the marble, magnetic ball, whatever you want to call that, and it would just sank. Like, there's multiple ways to do um, the puzzles in this game, whether it's an oversight by the programmers, or just them letting you do things any way you want, I don't know. Um, you can also, you can bounce on the ball. Who would have thunk it? Um, that's how you get up here. So many garabs. So many... Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, like, wait a minute, I had 11. No, I, I killed myself. Yeah, Glover has some of the best voice clips in this... In this game. I mean, well, this is the only game he was ever in. Sadly, there was going to be a Glover 2. But... And there's a prototype on the internet I think you can download. I haven't tried it for myself. But, um... Yeah, there's a prototype for it, but I'm glad it wasn't released because if you look at it, it is such a Banjo-Kazooie ripoff, like, even down to the well, one is, like, collecting all these different things, like, a lot of collectibles, that's like Banjo-Kazooie, you know 
and like it, e- it was even like down to like where like the characters had speech bubbles and like their heads would appear in the speech bubble and go hut, 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 and make the noises you know it was just i'm just glad like that because it was going in that direction it did not did not get finished or whatever but here the introduction to magic spells in this game which are just kind of like these little short-lived power-ups like this is the hercules spell it basically just turns you into a giant more powerful glover so you can kind of push things like that so see if we can push that and it's limited like you can see on the left that's like a time limit that's how that works oh there's just a lot of cool ideas in this game and i feel like it's kind of like it's it's got a lot of potential, and some of it seems kind of, like, short-lived, but... I don't know. I still, like... Like, it'd be cool if there was, like, more to it, but, I don't know. For what it is, it's a really great game, I think. The crystals! The crystals! The crystals! <laughs> <laughs> is this thing on? All right, here we go. Gonna deliver these two words for you, buddy. Two words is all you need, no more, no less. And I'll do the best I can. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> 